So, Paulita, tell us about your publicly funded porn movie. So this is so much fun, to be honest. Like I've I've spent literally over a year now. Um, every time I talk to a journalist or anyone that is interested in my work, um, I, I've been pushing this idea that I'm like, okay, the state has so many issues with porn. Uh, instead of be trying it to like shutting us down and putting like a lot of like financial and political um, you know, barriers for us to do porn, they should be funding us. Like they should, you know, if they actually think porn is that bad, they should be putting their money into, um, into our industry. And, uh, we should have a conversation on what kind of porn should be produced. And I always say this obviously as a, like as a provocative thing, like as a, you know, crazy idea, imagine if, uh, you know, if the States would actually pay for porn. So like three weeks ago, or like I get an email from a publicist, um, a broadcaster, right? And they're like, so we want to make a porn. You want to direct it? And I'm like, you are kidding me. <laughs> like for real? <laughs> and uh, it's basically, I mean, it was not, so it's just more of a, you know, also of a provocative uh, thing. This, this show, uh, Magazine Royale by ZDF, um, it's uh, it's a little, I don't know, like maybe just to give you an idea of what it is, it's a bit like, you know, last week tonight with John Oliver or something and John okay. Kramer is yeah. the... Jan Bimmerman is the, the, the host and they're always pushing boundaries, right? They're like, um, I guess they're the, you know, the most like radical it gets in this broadcaster. Um, and they were approaching the topic of, um, well, of pornography in general and concretely on the tubes, because right now in Germany, like for the last year, there's been a very intense persecution of the of big tube platforms like Xvideos, Xhamster, Pornhub, and so on and so forth. Uh, they're basically trying to shut them down on server level, which is insane because that's what like China does, right? So very mm -hmm. problematic, all in the name of protecting the youth. So this is, yeah, this is problematic. We can go into it if you want to get more into the politics of German politics against porn. However, this show was reporting on that and you know, they were digging a bit deeper and understanding um, uh, why the the solution that the state is currently offering, like shutting people down, is not obviously not a solution to protect the youth. Um, and they came up with this idea of like, okay, why not? Uh, there is, we, you know, they were saying like, we have an obligation towards the, um, you know, the people that fund this broadcaster through their, through the money that is collected publicly uh, of informing folks and sexuality is part of like our lives and why shouldn't we be using porn as a medium to inform people about sexuality and why you know let's give it a try so that was a proposal which i think is i mean I'm, i was like i'm 100 percent in <laughs> and uh, yeah from there we just started like we didn't have so much time i had like literally like 10 days from like the moment they wrote me to like delivering them a finished color graded <laughs> um, are you serious porn. Yeah, for real. It was just really short, short notice. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, okay, I'm doing it. <laughs> Wait, why uh, did but, they give you sh short notice? Can I ask, did, is it, it, did, it wasn't because like, cause I know some people think that like, there's no pre-production that goes into porn and we just like get a hotel room and like set up a camcorder and just leave it on. Like, is that, was that part of their thinking? But, like, oh, it's just porn. It doesn't take that long to make. No, I want to, I want to take them into, like, I want to defend them. No, I don't think so. I think they just, I mean, you know, they produce one show a week. So they're just like, yeah, you know, they're they're like, okay, lot, this they're, is our next just, week's show. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. And I mean, it was not yeah. like next week, but like, yeah, it was like, yeah, I guess they, you know, there's, there's a lot that they're doing and they just didn't, yeah, they didn't plan it with so much more time. I guess maybe the idea came, you know, at that time and they were like, okay, let's do this quick. Um, but yeah, then we started the conversation. I was like, okay, so what, you know, what are we going to have in here? You want to show, you want to show safe for sex? You want to show what bodies you want to show? What, what, like, what do we want to show? And it was really interesting. I have to say, um, like in their defense as well, like they came, um, they came not having much, like any idea about how to shoot porn. So yeah, but they might as well thought like it's as easy as getting out of a room and just doing it, but they were very open to listen. Cause so I, you know, I asked them, you know, I just asked them a couple of questions and I think that clearly, you know, I was like, okay, I like, have you contacted already someone and what, cause I was like, okay, this is so short time. I need people, like, I need to get people tested and I need to get, you know, like blah, blah. And they were like, oh, okay. You tell us kind of like, what mm -hmm. do you need? Like how, how, how is this done? And they were again very open to to listen to it um and 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 try to make it happen in this short time so um yeah so that was fun <laughs> so how how did you get so what is 
publicly funded mean? Like, is it tax dollars? Is it like how, what does that mean? Yeah. So, um, and I had to learn this because I, at some point, I think I said uh, tax paid and they were really angry about that. So I'm happy that you're asking me this question so I can uh, make it right this time. Um, so, so the, the, Okay, I don't know exactly this because in Spain, I'm originally from Spain and in Spain, we don't have this. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I believe, I'm not sure, I don't think, I'm not sure actually if US has this kind of broadcasters or not. Basically, the idea of like a publicity fund uh, broadcasting, um, a, you know, institute or whatever instance is that it is not tax paid. It doesn't come from directly from tax money because then the state would have a lot of say in it, right? Mm -hmm. So the, right. a way of being more independent is like, it is basically money that has been collected for everyone living in this country. It's just not mm -hmm. called tax money. It's called, you know, the money that you collect for funding this public TV station. I don't okay. know what, you know, and I mean, the BBC yeah, we have works that. that way, right? You also have, yeah, it? what would it be? We have PBS. PBS is a public, okay. publicly funded station. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's what it means. So basically it means like, yeah, it's, it's, it's paid by all of us, but it's not directly depending from the state. So this, so they can remain independent in the way they, um, yeah, they report on staff, right. And take okay. decisions. Interesting. Um, did they give you like a decent budget or was it kind of hard to work with? No, it was fine. Actually. I was like, they were like, how much is it going to cost us? And I was like this much. And they were like, okay. Okay, great. So they weren't like, they didn't give you a number. You gave them a number. Yeah. Yeah. So that and then, fair. And yeah. Yeah. So tell I mean, us about, all... sorry, no, I was going to say, tell us about the scene, like who's in it, like what, what happens, what's the setup? So basically I asked them, like, do you want to have a story? Like, do, do we want to, you know, do we want to go <laughs> feature film? No, <laughs> no time for that. <laughs> uh, but they were like, no, we just want it to look good. Like we just want it pretty. Uh, and mm -hmm. obviously we want the people in there to have a good time and, um, yeah. And, and, and then we discussed, like, we really, we went more into the details. So basically I proposed them like a couple of performers that I love to work with. And I knew like, okay, I know this, I've been working with these performers for a lot of time and I just felt it was safe, especially with a short time and so on to mm -hmm. go with people, you know, that I, that I know I can trust and they're reliable and so on. Um, and they, they were like, yeah, great. Obviously I, I, you know, proposed, um, a casa was as diverse as I could make it happen in this, again, in this short time, obviously, mm -hmm. you know, a, a 10 minute porn film made in 10 days will never, you know, achieve to, to in include everyone's bodies and sexualities, obviously, but I tried to go for a queer folk. So I had two men and two women and they were all into each other. So it was a basically bisexual foursome. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we discussed things like, okay, we, they didn't want it to go to BDS Emmy, which is a shame because some of the performers would definitely have been more kinky, but I was like, now you have to tone it a little bit down, please, for this one, <laughs> do whatever <laughs> you want, but just don't go too kinky. Uh, and then, yeah. you know, this class, we decided to, you know, throw in every possible or like basic safer sex, like condoms, uh, um, mental dams and gloves. Um, and we just, you know, tried to. I was like, Hey, try to give me a lot of like nonverbal, unverbal communication as you're going. So like gestures, you know, heads, nods, uh, eye contact, just give me a lot of that. So we can see that everything that's happening is, you know, enthusiastically received and, and, and made. Um, yeah. And then we just said like, let's not, let's not have it end with a male cam shot. It's like, everyone is welcome to come or not like whatever. There was no rule on that, but just let's not end it on a, on a male camera just because, you know, there is a lot of porn that does end like that. Mm -hmm. And then we just wanted something else. And we were luckily, uh, we got squirting, which is great as well. And, um, wait, what else did we get in there? Um, yeah, we got a lot of laughing, which I always love. I think that was, yeah. that was nice. <laughs> so do you normally shoot with dental dams and gloves and condoms all the time, or was it just for this scenario because it was like on public television? I leave it in most of my productions, I leave it up to the performers. So they decide mm -hmm. what, what, I mean, we obviously always do the, the regular testing, of course. Um, mm -hmm. but I leave the up to them if they want to use any further, um, say for sex barriers, um, mm -hmm. for the, f I mean, for last year, the thing is because most of people are, you know, regular partners, like most of them have other ways of like they don't use yeah. I mean, some use condoms but a lot of them don't use other stuff for right, the gang sense. bangs now like um 
we've been using condoms in some of the gangbangs uh, because some folks uh, wanted to use those as a means of preventing like pregnancy. Uh, I have to say, I don't think condoms work great with gangbangs, to be honest. Uh, they're no, just not, they don't they work don't... great for porn scenes at all. Yeah, exactly. To be, yeah, that's, that's an issue. They really actually, don't, you know, no. They I don't. mean, when we, so... when we were fighting like measure B and them trying to mandate the condoms, like it was the performers who were like, I, I don't, want to do it wasn't us it wasn't the producers being like these don't sell i mean when i was shooting for wicked they've changed things now but wicked was a condom only company and the performers would be like fuck i gotta wear a fucking condom you know what i mean they'd be like god like they were not excited about it at all so you know there's this whole idea of like oh you're protecting the performers and all this kind of stuff well like of course like most mainstream media outlets they don't actually ask the people that this, this thing is affecting um and they were like we don't want this so in terms of this uh, porn movie, so this was on German, like regular television, like anyone could watch it? So of course not. <laughs> Basically, the funny thing is when they asked me like, you know, we're going to do this, you want to direct. And I was like, you do realize that you're not allowed to do it, nor to show it anywhere. And they were like, oh, is that the case? We're like, oh, yeah, double check. That's true. Well, we're going to do this anyway. I was like, okay, great. <laughs> so basically um, what they did is they made a, a trailer of the video. We did shoot the porn. It's out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then they, they, they edited like a trailer where they like censored everything basically with having like the face yeah. of the host. It's, it's pretty, it's hilarious actually. Um, and that's what they showed on the show. And they were like, well, there's this video out there somewhere. We can't tell you, we can't show you and we can't tell you where. 